AITA for telling my friend to stop insisting I was taken advantage of? I, I 20F, just started my junior year in college. I live in an apartment with three other girls, two of them being close friends. The fourth roommate, who I will call Lee, is someone we found on Instagram this past summer. We quickly became friends with Lee, but one thing I noticed about her is that she can be a bit overprotective. Every time we go out, she is constantly on high alert. She doesn't trust anyone and insists that we keep eyes on each other at all times. While it can get annoying, I do appreciate her being so caring. Until last night, we all went to a party. I was hoping to see a guy from class. We had spoken earlier, and he told me he'd be there. He was. We ended up flirting and talking all night. We were drinking and even took a few shots together. We started making out, and he led me to a room where we started to hook up. About 10 minutes in, Lee started banging on the door and demanding to come inside. I opened the door, thinking something bad had happened. She yelled at me to put my clothes on and started shouting at the guy, calling him a terrible person. I tried to tell her to calm down and leave, but I was afraid she'd cause a scene, so I just grabbed my clothes and left with her after quickly apologizing to him. I was mortified. She tried to get our other roommates to leave, but I insisted everything was fine and that they should stay. On the walk home, Lee insisted that I was way too drunk and couldn't consent, trying to get me to admit that I was a victim. I admit I was drunk, but I very much knew what I was doing, and I wanted to hook up with him. I told her to drop it and let me go to bed because she embarrassed me, and I didn't want to talk to her at the moment. When our roommates came home, Lee criticized them for not leaving together as a group and told them I was taken advantage of. At this point, I laughed at how extreme she was being, and my friends laughed with me and told Lee to calm down. This morning, Lee wouldn't drop it. She wants me to report him and even offered to go with me. I told her she was mistaken and that the guy was probably just as drunk as me, so by her logic, which one of us is the wrongdoer? She continued insisting that I was more intoxicated than him. She keeps treating me like a victim. At first, I was trying so hard to be nice and appreciate her concern while also explaining that she was wrong. But enough was enough. She texted me while I was in class, and I finally responded, saying, This is the last time I'm going to respond to this. We were two people who wanted to hook up, and we happened to be drunk. I don't want to hear another word about it. I don't know what's going on in your life, but it seems like you're projecting, and it needs to stop now. You are not my mother. I was perfectly capable of making my own decisions last night, and you made an assumption that ruined my night, his night, and embarrassed all of us. I am an adult, and I am telling you that you are wrong. You have no right to tell me I'm a victim after I've told you many times that I am not. It is insulting to me that you believe you can write a false narrative about my experience. I will no longer entertain this conversation, and I will be taking a break from going to parties with you for a while. I'll see you back home later. She didn't respond. I haven't spoken to her since. We've been avoiding each other in the house. My other two roommates are trying to act like everything is normal, but there's definitely tension. They've privately told me they agree that she went way too far and really needs to chill, but they just want to keep the peace. They also told me she's been texting them, trying to get them to support me, and they've told her to leave it alone. Ita, 